Hey love, so it's time for a new makeup video. First thing I'm using is Provide Skin Type 1 through 6. This is going to help keep my skin moist. And just a little moisturizer never hurts. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub that all into my face. The next product I'm going to be applying after I let that set was the LA Girls Pro Prep HD Facial Primer. And I'm going to first put this on my eyelids so that I can apply this LA Girls Pro Eyeshadow Primer in the color Nude. Now onto this new palette that I just picked up which is the Go To Palette by NYX and it's the Wonderlust. This is a really great palette. It was $16.99 at Ulta and I'm going to be sweeping the lightest brown in the palette above my crease and not so far up to my brow bone but just kind of like in the middle with back and forth sweeping motions. onto that plumish purple in the palette I'm going to be using my B Dillium brushes and I love this brush it's called the contour eyeshadow brush because the edge is, is really sharp it's more or less like a footer brush um, some places call it a footer brush but it's got a slanted tip and I like to use the slanted portion because it'll give you like a great fine line if you like just like a precise line in your crease area so I'm going to go ahead and take that and blend it up with their smoky brush and the brush is a little dense, so I'm actually going to go ahead and change it and use one of my Sedona lace brushes. Now I'm going to be using one of an old time favorite which is NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk and I'm going to go ahead and take a smaller brush and just blend that into the lower portion of my eyelid. And back into the crease I'm going to go ahead back into that plumish purple with that contour eyeshadow brush which I was talking about and I'm going to make it a little darker and then I'm going to use like that pinkish mauve color in the go to palette by NYX and place that all on the bottom portion of my eyelids except for my inner tear duct. Now for my inner tear duct I am applying some of that milk jumbo pencil by NYX and I'm going to apply the lightest color in the palette which is basically like a champagne color. For my brow highlight, I like to use more or less like an off-white off or eggshell color and I always like for it to be matte. So I'm using LA Colors Contour Palette for that effect. I'm just going to brush it into the other colors. And as well, I'm going to go back into that palette and use kind of like that brighter brown just to give it a great transition color. I'm just going to pat on just a little bit more of that LA Colors and go back into the crease and kind of clean it up and darken it around the edges and give it an outer V look and just darken the crease line and kind of like smudge it upwards. Now for the eyeliner, I'm using Wet n Wild's Pro Graphic Eyeliner Marker. I love this marker because the tip is actually slanted. It's more or less an angled tip, so um, it really does do a great job with doing a winged eyeliner look. And I am not the best at doing any type of winged eyeliner look. Now just to brighten up underneath my eyes, I'm using LA Girls Pro Concealer in the color yellow.
And now for the foundation portion, I'm going to be using Black Opal's Cream Foundation Stick in the color Kalahari Sand. It's not one of my favorite ones because it kind of is a little bit too light and it makes my face more or less look kind of flat. It really doesn't give it any type of glow. It just very looks kind of dry. So on top of that, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. HD Mattifying Foundation, which is in the color Caramel. This is a really great foundation. It's $6 on the website or also in Target, and I absolutely love it. It gives full coverage. It is buildable, so if you want full coverage, it's always buildable, and it is a cream foundation. Now to highlight, I'm going to be using ELF's Cream Foundation Stick in the color Nude. And this as well is $6 on the website or in Target. And I'm going to be blending that in with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender Sponge. This is one of my favorite sponges. This is the only one that I use and highly recommend. And you need to make sure that your sponge is always damp or else it's really not going to work properly. You just want to press that in. And for my contour, since this is the go-to palette and does come with contour, blush, and highlight, I'm going to be using the contour powder out of the go-to palette, which is really simple to use. It's an easier application than cream foundation or cream contour, and it's a really pretty color. And I'm just going to be using my Jumbo Fan Brush from Sedona Lace. This is the perfect blush, or excuse me, perfect brush for contouring. And now to contour my nose, I'm still using that same color, but I'm using a smaller brush, which is also by Sedona Lace. And if you're looking for really inexpensive brushes, they have some really great brushes and they're great dupes for any MAC brushes. To highlight the bridge of my nose, I'm also going to be using that ELF foundation stick in the color Nude. And to set my highlight underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using NYX's Black Label Powder in Soft Beige. And I'm just going to be applying that all to the areas where I highlighted that and I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes to allow it to seep into my skin. And while doing that, I'm going to go ahead back into that palette and go ahead and darken underneath my eyelids. For the inner tear ducts, I'm using NYX's eyeliner pencil in white. And on top of that, I'm going to be using the lightest color in the palette once again, just to brighten up the, my, the eye area. Now to get those eyelashes nice and full, I will be using LA Girl Super Mega Mascara. And I do have individuals on, so I do have a video for that on my channel as well. Now to brush off that excess powder, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Sonia Kashuk brush and use my Milani Multitask Powder in Medium Tan. This is like my favorite color. This is a perfect match for my skin tone and it really lasts throughout the entire day. I'm just going to lightly brush that over my entire face. And now to apply the highlight portion of that palette right over my contoured area and also on the forehead area and also I'd like to put that a little bit on the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow as well, just to give it some type of highlight. One of the NYX's Simply New lip creams is in the color called Honey. It's really too light, so I decided to use a different color on top of it because it kind of made my lips look really, really pale. So I'm gonna use matte uh, NYX's matte lipstick in the color Butter, which gave it a little bit more color. Not much, but I like it better than the first look. Now for the blush, I'm going to also go back into that palette and that's more or less like a peachy color blush. And this is like a really great palette because you can do your entire look with everything in this palette. There are two palettes to that collection and I absolutely love them. 
for my wig I'm going to be using my revolutions concealer palette which I did pick up at Ulta for ten dollars and to fill in any gaps in my hairline I'm going to be using topics keratin hair filler fibers the look is all complete and the hair is actually by bestlacewigs.com but this was made into a wig by yours truly so I hope you guys enjoyed this video all the information will be listed for you girls below make sure you rate comment and subscribe I love you and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.